greetings everyone and how on earth did I end up here? Welcome back to Oh No More Lemmings and we're going to be continuing with the Wicked Rank. Let us begin with this level. I'm likely going to speed up this level in case because you see how many builders we have? Yeah, that's a lot of builders. The one thing you want to do is to make sure that uh, the first lemming, uh, <clears throat> the first lemming builds. And uh, you gotta make sure your crowd is big enough so that way, so that way you can just have a, have a means to get uh, to get out of the pit. This dude is going to be doing all the work. It's a builder fest. There's like this game is guilty of builder fest as well. So don't be surprised if there are cases where I have to speed things up. Okay, he makes it across. So now we're going to need to like uh, we're now going to need to. Uh, Basically, build to, uh, like, uh, turn around and then build all the way up back to the, uh, to the crowd. And I already like how my, uh, like, how my, uh, my crowd is already, uh, lumping together. This is so that way this guy turns around, and now he must build all the way back up here. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little bit, so uh, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, now that we have uh, this part safe and secure, we have to turn him around so that way he can build to the exit. And I'm going to start a little bit early so that way this lemming doesn't turn around upon hitting this gemstone. And we're going to need to uh, release them soon because uh, we we have less than two minutes. I, like, I'm sure we can get them across in that time, but still. Now, as soon as he's... Uh, as he starts his last bridge, well, it's time to get across. Release the rest of the crowd. I think it's possible to save all 100, of, or all 50 of them, but it's just really precise. I remember a YouTube channel that does a lot of precise solutions and such. At least let's take a look at the terrain and such before we say goodbye to these dudes. But yeah, that level took like four minutes because of the building. Now we're on to level 10, the Temple of Love. <clears throat> If in case I'm annoyed, you guys know why. It, wrong, wrong button, wrong skill. Welcome to the temple of missed inputs, where this game will make sure that y that uh, even though you clicked on a lemming, it will pretend that you didn't. And this is a problem with all versions of the game, where you could have sworn you clicked on them, but the pr uh, but uh, it's very finicky. On, on if you even clicked on the lemming at all. And it infuriates me. And I'm going to put a blocker there for a reason. Because, uh, because of how, like, okay. Because of how precise you need to be in this game, missed inputs are a certainty. 
There will be many points where you just barely missed the lemming because the game decided, no, you did not click when you did click. And it's just, there's so many times where that, eh, where making sure you click on a lemming is crucial. And, and that's why I'm a bit frustrated because, eh, because th this level has a really cool solution. There's a reason why this area right here exists. Okay, I think that's a good, uh, good enough distance uh, uh, to make it out. <clears throat> because this lemming's gonna have to build from out here. Like he's gonna need to get a good enough height so that way. No, so that way he can, like, it's the head check. It's the head check that always makes me nervous. Okay. Now I'm going to want to set up a climber. And he's going to start digging from right there. And that blocker will be our reason. <clears throat> our block. Well, you know what I mean. And. Uh, Next is the hard part because you gotta make sure that when you build, it's high enough to reach the exit. And it's also. Okay. Now that that's done, we're going to need to immediately uh, bomb the blocker. Okay. Okay. We did it. Now you see why this, solu uh, why this puzzle solution is really cool? It's just that it really didn't need to frustrate me with how much I click on a lemming and it just, it, it just goes past the cursor just continuing to walk. <sighs> and we're only like almost 17 minutes into the recording. They'll make it. They have to. At the very least, these clumps will give you a satisfying sound for when they uh, enter the exit. I think that's uh, good enough. Yep, exactly what we need. Ah, Rocky Road. As uh, as simple as a name as it gets. Excuse me. Rocky Road. Anyway, let's uh, begin. Now for probably the best, one of the best looking levels in the entire uh, game. This is where I feel like the developers they gave it their all with uh, uh, with how the levels looked. And admittedly I find like some of these sets hard to work with uh, in Neolumix. Like I'm going to set up a blocker here. And I'm going to make sure that there's a blocker in here. And this chameleon right here, you are going to need to build right here, so that way you can build right over its uh, trigger area. And if there's something I dislike more than uh, missed inputs, it's picky trigger areas. And there's a reason why idle animations had to be made. Okay, hopefully he'll make it across. Because we're going to need a... Okay, let me think about this for a moment. And... Yeah, we're going to need to bash here for a good reason. I'm going to raise that release rate immediately for a good reason. 
Now this is another level that's going to be deceptively uh, hard for also a good reason. And we're going to need to actually uh, mine right here so that way we can make a minor tunnel that's uh, it's at least tall enough to turn a, uh, turn the lemmings around. And I feel that we're going to need a safe enough distance to... <clears throat> like, we need a safe enough distance to... Uh, basically set these guys out. I want to say now's a good time. Okay, we'll make it over that one and that one in that case. The other reason why is, well, the timer. Now it's going to be a race to the exit be uh, because of, uh, because we now have a walking crowd behind us and this dude's going to be, well, racing against the clock because not only does he have to make it across two gaps, but he also has to set up a digger tunnel to make sure that all the lemmings uh, all the lemmings uh, converge into it. Oof. I'm not looking forward to this one. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, oh. I really don't like doing that. At least not in Neo Lemmings. Like, not in any traditional game in the, uh, of the sort. We're going to need to dig right around here. Because this will make sure that the lemmings, if they should land in it, go into the exit. And I think we just did it. Oh. Okay. Want to see me do a magic trick? <laughs> <clears throat> now for the next level. Oh, that's a level. That's a name that does not sit well with me. It's a little too close to home. Solution is actually really cool though. So uh, yeah. And they placed two uh, girder pieces right next to each other. So. The one thing you want to do with your blockers is to place them in a way where when they, like when you release them, well, they won't blow through the terrain. Now, for why the level uh, solution is pretty cool. Well, you're going to need, to, it's basically built to the exit, but it's where you're going to be building and such. Like aesthetically and many other reasons. Uh, aesthetic wise and such I really like this level like I think this level is just pretty cool because your builder will overshoot this particular uh, peg and land exactly on the next one which I think is just pretty neat they also have back uh, back route protection too like, the solution is pretty clear to you uh, once you play the level. The only thing that bothers me is that this hook is not actually grabbing something. And he makes it. Just as long as it overshoots the exit, I think you should be able to land. <clears throat> Like, I'm not kidding when I say this level is just really cool. And 
and you have like quite a bit of time to solve it too. So now all you need to do is just uh, mine and then uh, mine and then go straight to the exit. Don't worry about mining in a way where you'll just land behind that chain. You'll still make it past that chain. Okay. Gotta make sure. Okay. I think it's like 80 lemmings. Ooh, the game is actually slowing down. Okay, good. Oh, I was actually really scared that I would have been too close to one part of it. But the game is actually slowing down because of how many lemmings are rendered on screen. But I'm not kidding when I say this solution is pretty cool because you overshoot one peg but land exactly on the other. Like, that's why I really like this level. It's just uh, the name I don't feel comfortable saying because it hits a little too close to home. And I'm saying, I'm, I'm more so uh, saying that because, well, uh, something that happened years ago. But yeah, let's take a look at what the next level offers. Oh, <sighs> let's get this one out of the way. Almost nearly virtual reality, and uh, give it a uh, give it three decades. Anyways, there's way more builder fests where that came from. Yeah, that's right. It's time for more builder fests because this game does not have enough of them, and there's a lot of them. Like I'm not kidding. And you don't need to save everyone uh, because of the beginning. Nah. I'm clicking you. Click, you uh, click, dang it. Oof. Ugh. I hope I'm not losing too many because uh, we're going to need them. Now comes the more tedious part. This is where the term Builder Fest uh, comes in. You need to build all the way up here. And you need to make sure you have enough builders for it to, uh, to do so. Because this is going to be a lot of building. And I mean a lot of building. So, I'm going to speed this up. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of sped up footage because of how long this level is going to take. Like, this level will take a while. Like, a really long while because of how much space you have to build. I'm going to, like, I'm going to make sure to get everyone out. And we gotta make sure that they get to the exit within two minutes, because, uh, that's the other thing you have to worry about, the Builder Fest and Time Crunch. I think now would be a perfect time to build. Like, I hope I've saved enough. Yeah. Like, that's literally the entire level right there. And he blew through the terrain because of this. Like, I hope it was 63% that we had to save. Oh no, it was 87%. Oh. Oof. But, uh... Okay, one more level for good measure, and then the part's over. 
this one is fortunately very tame. This level should have been in the previous rank, maybe even two ranks lower. The Lemming Learning Curve. All you have to worry about is just making sure that uh, when you mine, you land on this platform. And then when you build, you build in a way where you can make it to this part of the wall all soon enough. And literally, that's it. Okay, I had to make sure that I got the blocker. Just gotta make it to the wall, and that's about it. Like, I feel this level is way too easy for this rank. And then you bash. And that's literally it. That is literally all you have to do in this level. Like, this level is a lot easier than it looks, and I'm surprised it's in the Wicked rank. Yeah. <laughs> it's only hard because of the save rate. But now I feel we can just, uh... Uh, call it there. I'll read out the title in the next part. If you want to donate, there are a couple links in the description below. Any amount helps. If you want to follow this series and any others like it, it's just a simple click to sub of the subscribe button, the bell, and you'll be on your way. But you don't have to if you don't want to. With that being said, I hope you're taking really good care of yourself, and I shall now bid you adieu. There's a reason why there is a, a uh, place like this. <laughs> I tried stretching my bridges and the game's just like, I'm going to ignore your input like it always has. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm supposed to build from right here. <clears throat> I am clicking you. I clicked you right there. But what it loves doing is dropping inputs. As you can see, you're supposed to let uh, two lemmings seal up gaps, and you gotta make sure that... No, that isn't a sealed gap! <clears throat> and... Okay. There's a reason why you had to build from right there. And you gotta make sure that this... I really... I really don't miss playing the original versions of these games, and I feel like I built a little bit too late. Okay. Good, he'll make that. Now, the last thing you need to do is build a... Good, good, build, build, build! I clicked you! <laughs> Click the living! He was in your hitbox! Welcome to the Temple of Missed Inputs, when you clearly clicked on a lemming and the game decides you didn't actually click. Like that. Because I've had so many times where I clearly clicked on a lemming, like I clicked on it, the game only for the game to be like, that did, that in- STOP! Of the time limit you're at. Like, we made it over the trigger area, but uh, that counts as a... Ignore your command. You don't need to save all of them, you need to save like 63%. Ah, uh, nuts.